Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I came on today to share with you this altered bottle I created. It was totally inspired by this bottle shape. Um, a friend of mine gave me this bottle yesterday at her house, and I couldn't wait to play with it. Um, <laughs> so this is what I decided to do. Um, I painted the stopper and I added some rhinestone trim which you can get rhinestone trim over at Angel Dream Crafts and I'll put a link to her shop below. And then I created almost like a, a sleeve, kind of like a belly band, a bottle belly band. <laughs> Although it is attached, it's not gonna come off, but I just love it, right? I use so many layers of laces and uh, music book paper and bling and you can get um, book paper and music book paper at angel dream crafts as well as this beautiful pleated tool which i used here and here because i i love how this looks i love the feel of it so um like i said there's a link below uh to her store i also use used some um, vintage laces and I sewed most of it together until I broke my needle <laughs> on my sewing machine, but I think it's really cute. I like how it kind of comes down at an angle, right? It's so pretty. And this is um, a different, I've never tried to do a bottle this way before, but I really, really like it. And I'm excited to have maybe a few of them. Um, on a shelf, right? It's so cute and it's still usable so I could put some good stuff in here <laughs> to serve to my guests. It's adorable. I love it. I hope you love it too. I did do a tutorial in case you're interested. So that is coming up and then I will have some better pictures um, at the end of this video because it is a beautiful day outside. And so I took her outside and got some photos and I just think it's gorgeous. So I hope you're all doing well and please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. So I decided to start by painting the wooden uh, stopper and so I am just going to give it a couple of coats of gesso just to uh, help, the, help me get better coverage from the paint that I want to use on the stopper. And I am trying just to paint the wooden top because I still want this to be usable. So I am using this Folk Art Antique Gold to paint my the wooden knob at the top. And then I go around the edge and clean up where I've got some paint on the, the rubber part of the stopper that goes in the bottle. And I'll clean that up later. And I think I ended up putting three coats of the antique gold but it's really beautiful and then I just put a little piece of rhinestone trim right around the base after that's all good and dry but I do love the color and I was thinking it would go really well with the vintage laces that I wanted to use and I think it does So I decided to use some music paper and I wanted to have distressed looking edges so I'm just tearing off all around the edges to give it that torn look that I was going for. I mean I do, I love the way that looks. I don't like a straight edge on my book and music paper, who wants a straight edge? So I'm just going to tear it up and then I'm going to use some Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. To really give those edges a nice distressed look but I love the way that looks it's so pretty very nice and then I am gonna sew the book paper to some lace sounded like a good idea at the time and it looks beautiful so I just pleated this lace uh, for the base layer and then I am just sewing this music book paper right on top of it and this might be my new favorite thing. 
I want to do so many of these. I love the way it looks. Just so pretty. Cuteness. So I'm just gonna wrap it around, which I do a lot. I wrap it around the bottle just to see where I'm at and see what I wanna add and I'm loving it. And then I found this, like, um, it's like an upholstery trim, I would say. And I decided to tuck it underneath the music book paper. And since I just did a straight stitch right down the, the center of the paper, I do have room to tuck in the bottom and in the top. And so I decided, well, let me just see if I can sew it. And you know what? It, it did. It sewed like a champ. My sewing machine is amazing. So I sewed at this bottom layer on and I love the way that looks I wish I had more of that trim but I don't that was that was the end of her and so then I'm like okay let's make some more layers so I actually pleated that vintage trim right there it's gorgeous and I tried to sew that and that's when my needle broke it was like no we're good that's enough <laughs> so now I am putting another vintage uh, trim right down the center of that pleated vintage trim. I love the vintage laces and I've been hoarding them long enough so I decided to start using some of them. And uh, this pleated tool trim that I get from Angel Dream Crafts is just one of my favorite things because it adds such a layer of softness to projects that I must use it on every project because you can get it. She has it in several different colors. I don't know if there's any in stock right now but this is like a, a tea dyed color, but um, she does carry white and pink and uh, teal and maybe a purple. I mean, it comes in all the great colors, so love this trim. So I wanted it peeking out kind of uh, on the top from behind. So I do love the way it turned out. It's so, super cute. So just another layer of fluffy. Love it. And it looks so great around the bottle. But bling please. And this is my last strip of this gorgeous uh, bling. I really am going to have to get more because I just, I want it on all the projects and I really would love to make a set of like matching bottles in the same decorative style. I just think they're so pretty. Yeah, you know, my husband doesn't get it. I, I was so proud of it. And when he came home, I'm like, check this out. What I, you know, I love this. Let's, let's add some liquor to it and put it, you know, out on display. He wasn't as, as impressed as I am, <laughs> but whatever. Love it. So cute. So now I am going to glue it to itself with some hot glue. So I'm not actually gluing it to the bottle, even though I'm sure there is some glue that seeps out onto the bottle. But, you know, hot glue isn't going to stick to uh, glass very well, but it will stick to itself tight enough. And so now I found this flower applique I wanted to use to cover up the seam. And I decided to add some more of that tool trim behind it. So I kind of give it some more depth and softness. Because I just love the tool trim. It's very, very cute. And then I do take bits of what I had left of that tool trim and I kind of just tuck it in here and there. And it works. And then I found a piece of bling in my stash that I thought would do greatly in the middle of that flower. And it really, really does. So I just love the way this turned out. Uh, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think below. And I'm hoping I can maybe make some companion pieces this week. So I hope you're all doing well and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks everybody.